One big fish. One big fish. One big fish. All I want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a large mouth, small mouth, maybe even a brown trout. If you ever catch one, you know what I'm talking about. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a wall eye, tall guy, maybe even a red eye. If you ever catch one, then you'll know why. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. One big fish. One big fish, one big fish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish all I want to do is catch that one big fish. This time on One Big Fish, we're going to the west coast of Michigan to the fantastic communities of Whitehall and Montague. This part of the west coast of Michigan is right on Lake Michigan. Beautiful fishing, resort area, plenty to see and do for the whole family. And I tell you what, we're going to be meeting up with one of the best charter captains I know, and that's Captain Butch with Devil Dog Charters. We're going to be targeting brown trout, one of those evasive, hardly understood species that are difficult to catch, except in that early part of the season. We're here, middle of April. We're going to see if Captain Bush can't come through for us in a big way and get us on some of those brown trout. Now, there's all kinds of things that you can bring your family to see and do here in Whitehall, Montague. So I'm going to surrender the floor to Amy. She's the head of the Chamber of Commerce slash Visitors Bureau here. And who better than her to tell you about all the activities and things to see and do? So take it away, Amy. Here in White Lake, nestled in the West Michigan area, uh, we have beautiful Montague and Whitehall uh, with just an array of different activities and festivities for the whole family. In terms of attractions, the world's largest weather vane sits right downtown Montague. It stands 48 feet tall, along with Michigan's Adventure. It is the uh, state's largest amusement park. It's just five miles south of Whitehall, and it's for the whole family to enjoy. We also have the White River Light Station, which is a maritime museum. Our light station is right on the channel of White Lake and Lake Michigan. Our beaches are beautiful to visit. White Lake is peppered with a variety of marinas throughout the lake, uh, especially our municipal marina, and they are here to welcome all of our boaters. We also have our bike path, uh, the Hart Montague Bike Trail. It is 26 miles in length, and it is a completely paved path. We have an array of accommodations that you'll want to be sure to check out anything from our award-winning bed and breakfast to hotels, motels. Uh, we also have our beautiful resorts that are on White Lake and Lake Michigan. In addition to that, entertainment abounds throughout the year. We have our Maritime Festival. That is the third weekend in August where uh, for two days we have festivities with arts and, and bands and, and things like that. Our famous pumpkin roll uh, that is during Pumpkin Fest and that's always the second Saturday in October. Uh, great event with pu pumpkins being rolled down the hill where thousands come out to enjoy uh, different pumpkin variety of uh, events. Uh, so you want to be sure to take in the, the festivities, uh, so no matter what time of year, come and see us here in Montague and Whitehall. Now as much fun as it is here on land, let's get out on the water with Captain Butch and Devil Dog Charters and let's start chasing them browns. One big fish. One big fish, one big fish. All I want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a large mouth, small mouth, maybe even a brown trout. If you ever catch one, you know what I'm talking about. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. 
Captain Butch, a lot of charter captains on the Great Lakes are hesitant just to target browns in the spring. Tell us how you guys do it here on Devil Dog. Well, we like to stay in uh, eight to 10 foot of water. And what we're looking for is humps, bumps, troughs, rock piles, or any structure like that. And uh, the minnows hang out there, and we figure the browns will be in there. That's how we do it on the Devil Dog this time of the year. All right. You know, Captain Butch here on the Devil Dog, he's got all the toys, all that specialized trolling equipment that you're going to need to target some of these big brown trout. Captain, why don't you tell us a little bit about the kind of spread that we're using here, when we, you know, anytime that you typically go after the brown trout. Well, put out boards on each side of the boat, planer boards, keeps them away from the boat, in the shallow water, different depths, different kinds of baits, stick baits and spoons. And then we got our downriggers here, back me, and uh, keep them up shallow with long leads on and try to fish the shallow water. And so a lot of times we'll be going over some of this water that might be uh, four or five feet and then it kind of drops off. Do you typically leave the downriggers in place and let them kind of fall off? Exactly. Okay. And usually on the back side of those humps, good things happen, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> you got all them tricks, Skipper. Man, I'm looking forward to this, buddy. <laughs> And we haven't been out here very long. We finally got to Captain Butch's honey hole. And wham! Hit that board and off to the races. We're not quite sure it's a brown, but I do know it's something that's got uh, scales and kind of moves like this in the water. It's probably a big fish. We got it on a planer board. This is, uh, was this the outside board, Butch? Furthest from the boat. So I'm just, uh, Gonna get it in close enough to let uh, the skipper undo this board, and then it'll be just mono on mono with the fish. You got him, you got him. You got another one. Over the top. Where's that? The brown. There back, back. That's Over the brown. top. Got him. That's the brown there. Yeah, I just saw the brown oh, jump on that one. Let, let point it at you. We got a double header, Don. He's in the line. Oh, he's got him in. Mark this spot. I don't know how. This is a nice oh, fish right here. Jump. Nice oh, fish here. I'll get something out of the way. He's jumping well, good. He's on the other line. Got another one here. Good. Got a triple header here, buddy. Whoa. Holy cow. White hole, eh? Hey, look at that brown. Look at that brown. There's some, buddy. Woo. Wow. This is a big one here. That's a big one. Get Victoria up there. Hold on. I got to grab a net. Victoria, Victoria get that net. Well, we got Butch working now, buddy. Hey. Come on, Butch. Get that net. 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 Get We'll get this one in here. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Look at that, another brown beautiful. back there. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, That's a big fish over there. Well, just pandemonium, man. Pandemonium. Oh, a good one. It's a good one. Look at him. It. It's a monster. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> side a little bit. Right, man. I got that. I just want to fish out there. Wow. Is that a beautiful sight or what, Dad? Beautiful, man. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, that's a lake. Yeah, lake. Beautiful. Look at the side of that lake. Come on, him in the boat. Yeah. Let's take him in. Nice. Nice one. That's a lake. Let him go. Yeah, that's nice one. Well, this is the result of all that pandemonium you were seeing a few months ago. We got the first two browns of the day in. Even a bonus Laker was kicked in with that Joe. Absolutely. And you know, Joe, hurry up. He ran up there. He marked this spot. It was, it was like a reef, wasn't it? Yeah, we see up the reef with some rocks on there. We saw, what, 12 on the side imaging? And you know, that imager, it, it, you know, we're going along a perfectly smooth bottom. You know, everything's perfectly smooth. And all of a sudden, we saw boulders and we saw this this reef area. And then, wham, 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 wham. We saw the fish, and actually, those were the fish that bit. Yeah. So the first two browns of the day, beautiful fish. And when they hit, they tend to come up and just surface. Don't Absolutely, we? yeah. Great fight, great fish. And I tell you what, Joe, I think we're about tied. Don't, you know? I don't think, yeah. It. I mean, it looks pretty good. They're <laughs> they're nice browns, and you know about the Michigan brown trout, the infamous Great Lakes brown. They first. Put them in as you remember in 1880s. Oh yeah, yeah, remember, I remember you know, that it well. It didn't really work out too good in the 1960s. They came back, but you I were fishing them in the 1880s, yeah. right? Yeah, 1880s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, that was... yeah, these are some nice fish. Yeah. 1880s, very good year. You know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and put these All in right, the box, man. Joe. I got a feeling there's gonna be some more on the ground. No doubt about it. So 75 feet behind the board, and the board was probably at about 100 and so feet. We're right in the middle of a turn, which made this side of the boat speed up. 
those lures were going a lot faster than the other side, and that's when it hit. So a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Speed right, it's got a nice bend in that rod, man. Brown, man. It's a big old. Brown. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at Yeah! That's a beautiful brown. Woo! Oh, nice. Man, they're splashing on top. Look at that fish. Yeah! There he Boy, is. He, I tell you what, this guy's got more moves than x lax You know what I mean? Up to the top, up, diving down deep, splashing on the top. What do you think, Don? Should I get him? Or oh, I should we get him? Is the bull crazy? Right. Look at that pretty bull. Oh, look, look at that. Just pretty. jetting along in that blue. Pretty. Blue is my favorite okay, color. Back. Back him up. There we go, there we go. And there he's in the net. Oh, and he's a monster. What do you think? Look at hello. That hello. Hello. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, one big fish, Woo. baby. Woo! Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's it's a, a creature. Good. That's a pretty one there. Good. Yeah. That's Wow! Incredible. What do you think? 30, 40 pounds? What do you think? Lie to me. Come on. Lie to me. <laughs> Woo! Uh huh? What do you think? Nice. He's definitely a teenager. I, you know, I would say probably in that, what do you think? 13-ish? I would say 12, 13. Yeah. About 13 pounds. Big monster fish. Beautiful. Look at the coloration on this fish. You know? This is that classic brown look, isn't it? Like classic fishing. brown look. Beautiful Caribbean-like water, big monster fish. Out here with Captain Butch, it don't get better than that. You need to give Captain Butch a call. Into the locker box we go, buddy. Wow. And look how much bigger he is than Joe's fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Woo! That is one big fish. <laughs> Well, this is a fighting lake right here, buddy. Yeah. A fighting lake. Look at it. A lot of attitude. Yeah, there we are. Oh, Woo! That's a, brown. That's a, brown. a big brown. There you go. There you go. Nice brown. A big kahuna. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Yeah, oh, look at the color. Sister look sledge. at the color. Sister sledge. Sister sledge. Look at that color. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Now, who picked the lure on that one, Butch? Yeah. yeah. Look at the color. Beautiful. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, that's a solid one of the man. Hooked beautiful. Did you hear me tell him to put Sister Sledge on there? I don't uh, think you no, did, no, did I didn't you? Hear that. that was when you were sleeping back yeah, there. Wasn't it? I'm yeah, sure that's it was. right. I'm sure it was. Don just woke up from a nice little nap here. Yeah, as you were up there losing lake trout, I decided <laughs> somebody better wake up and catch some fish, so nice one. The big kahuna! Nice one. Beautiful silver color on that brown. Just a beautiful Let me see what that looks brown. like. All right, that's a nice fish. I mean, this is about as silvery as possible. You know, this is about as fresh brown. Now, some of the other ones that we've been catching, a little bit different in color, you know, the more typical brown color. Just a beautiful fish. And when they hit, they're exploding all over the top of the water, whereas the Lakers tend to go down, you know, fighting deep, just pulling hard, pulling hard, where these are right up on top, just slashing away, slashing away. But a beautiful fish. You know, it don't get better than that. Fight and fight and fight, you know. And this is, uh, I believe when I open this up, this is going to be the fourth brown and one outing. Captain Butch, I'm going to tell you what, when he says I'm going to take you on a brown trip, it's not one brown and 50 cohos or something like this. We're out here catching brown trout. On occasion, we'll get us a nice lake trout, you know, beautiful lake trout, uh, but four quality brown trout. Unbelievable. Loving it. So I tell you what, buddy, I got some friends I want you to meet. We're going to put you right inside. And uh, like, starting to get crowded in there. Had imaging, right? Yeah. And you know, that imager has kept us in fish. Every time we find that rocky structure, we go right on it. Good as happened. Yep. We're using 150 feet on each side there on the come. imager. He's up near the top. There he is. You can see the silver flash back there. You can see the silver flash. A little big boil. Big boil. Big boil. Yeah. Good job, Joe. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice fish. Oh, nice big brown. Tail. Look at it. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Beautiful brown. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Keep it here. There we go. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? Oh, man. Nice wow. job. Yeah. All right. Way to go, Butch. That's nice. Yet another brown, Butch. Man. Awesome. Beautiful fish. And this one hit the board screaming. Sure did. He took that board way back. Absolutely. Now look at them teeth. Oh yeah. I think anything he wants to get a hold of, he can definitely do it, can he? He sure could. <laughs> nice fish. Just there a we smaller go. brown. Another brown. Another brown. 
<laughs> Is this fun go. or what? You know, <laughs> we can't even get one in a cooler. <laughs> can't even get one in a cooler. Here's another one. You know. I mean, <laughs> you know, this guy hit the downrigger. And uh, I think they call this, what, the green dolphin pattern or something yep. like that? Green dolphin. Big old spoon. And this little guy, I'm going to tell you what, it just don't get better, you know. <laughs> number We're talking six. about number five. Yeah. And Butch says the, the rigger's going off, and we got number six now. I mean, this you is know. unbelievable. Let me hand this off to you. All right. Keep that out. But, you know, this guy hits the down rigger. Hits the downrigger, pops it, pops it out, and swims all around, all the way around this side of the boat. Can't even get number five in the cooler. Here's number six. I know what you're wondering now. Where do I stay when I come here to this awesome fishery of Whitehall? Well, you know. I'm gonna take all the guesswork out of it for you. The best Western Inn and Suites, they've got a brand new, you would think it was brand new, it's been there for a little while. All newly renovated, looks brand new. They've got family suites, they've got Whirlpool suites, and that continental breakfast that you just die for, that big old Belgian waffle maker. I gotta stay there, boat friendly, and just minutes from the boat ramp. I'm gonna tell you what, when you go to Whitehall, you need to check out the best Western. Visual Film Outdoor Productions. With dozens of outdoor DVD and VHS titles available, you'll be able to learn all the top tricks and secrets that the pros use to put big fish in the boat. Giant sturgeon, goliath grouper, bass crappie, and of course mega-sized catfish. It's all here, and a lot more. Visit us at www.visualfilms.com. fish are going to need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. There's something about that moment. It's just you and the river. She's been good to you before, but this time, she's really good. Every day, the river's changing someone's life, and it could be you. So come to Little River in beautiful Manistee, where the fish are plentiful, and so are the winners. Come catch the big one. You know, brown trout can be some of that best tasting fish you can have here on the Great Lakes. We've got a special treat for you. We're going to head over and we're going to meet Chef Emil over at the Harborview Grill and Restaurant. He's going to share with all of us his top secret recipe for brown trout. Here at Harborview Grill, the way we like to pair our trout is called a honey mustard glaze. One quart Italian dressing, about a cup of honey. Dijon mustard, give it a little bite, you know. Um, put those together. I have a lemon here. I'm gonna cut that lemon in half, give it a little squeeze, fresh juice, can't go wrong. All right, a little bit of lemon zest, let that acid kind of break that down, let the honey and the Dijon carry the flavors over. That's gonna be the marinade for our fish. We're gonna pan sear it. That sound, that's called sauteing. That's your pan sear. Very dry, oh yeah, that sounds great. So, rice peel off. So it doesn't have to be fancy, it has to be good. That's the rules, all right? Nothing more than that. Don't let anybody fool you. Fresh green beans. We're just gonna make the plate look good, you know? It may be for a special relative or somebody you haven't seen in a while. Maybe took somebody fishing and you wanna impress them. Um, take your girlfriend fishing, this'll impress her, all right? Nice piece of fish. 
Just lay it up. Let it lean down. Show, show a little love here, all right? That's what we want to do. Finish it off. A little green onion. We took the scallions, put it in the, uh, used it for something else. Look at this, all right? A little bit of tomato. Always nice to have that little spark. And then we're going to finish it off with just a little bit of parsley. I'm Chef Amo Russo. Thank you for cooking with One Big Fish. For more information, check us out at harborviewgrill.com. Get us another brown. Another hey, scoops and scores. Luddington watermelon there again, Butch. That's a pretty brown. That's been a hot color. Sure is. Time and time again. Another brown, Don. Time and time Look again. Look at that. Unbelievable. That's a pretty one. It sure is. Nice and silver. Another one's been living out in the lake. Yeah, as Butch was telling us, you're more of a lake fish here. And uh, Butch has got us putting these boards right up next to shore, and we're in about 10 foot of water, uh, knocking these right off the, um, the rock humps that we're seeing on the side imager. And it's been a deadly method. Excellent, excellent fishing, man. Good job, Butch. It's a king, isn't it? No. Oh, small brown. <laughs> nice fish, look at it. Once again, it's on the pink and chartreuse. Nice fish, nice cool thick, stock. Yeah, real stock. thick, stocky fish. And uh, they're up here eating them smelt right up close to shore here. Butch has got us right on the fish, right where we need to be. And uh, we're gonna get this one back in the cooler and uh, put that lure back out and get some more, eh? Yes, sir. We're gonna get that one back in. All right. There you go, buddy. All right. We're sitting there cloudy, cloudy, wind's blowing, everything's starting to calm down, blue sky coming out, opera music started playing. Next thing you know, fish on. Yeah. Hello. We're right in front of the Whitehall Pierhead here. This is the opening to White Lake where White Lake meets Lake Michigan. And we said, well, we'll, we'll set up and troll right across the mouth and what did that pay off? Immediately, boom. Look at that brown. Beautiful brown. Look at that brown. Beautiful brown. Yeah, look at that. Job. Hello. And you know, that's what we're here after. And this one happened to hit a very bright color. You know, they say bright day, bright color. I think it's just certain colors that these fish are keying in on. I'm gonna see look if I can reach in here and you know, got them in the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna try to rotate this hook out. There we go. Butch made a nice point here, Don. We just come out of the, the, the lake, the river, so it's a river of fish. Yeah. You know, we were out of the pier, and it's, look at the beautiful colors on that, as opposed to the silver ones. That we yeah. Were in the lake. And you know, this would be probably a, a fish that's been back there in that river, been back in there for probably uh, a lot of the wintertime. You know, a lot of the wintertime back there feeding and stuff. You know, a nice, healthy fish came up and hit that great big old spoon, man. I mean, this is not a big, giant brown, but. That bait's about half the size of him. You know, you believe in that? But beautiful colors. You know, fish like this, I'm gonna tell you what, it's hard to target them. Hard to target. You gotta get with a captain that isn't afraid to go after these browns. And you know, Captain Bush, he, you know, devil dog himself. He is not afraid to get out here and take you on a brown strip. We've been knee deep in the hoopla all day long. It just keeps getting better and better. So, hey buddy, I think you got some buddies in there waiting on you. So, without further ado, I'm gonna put them away. Joe, now in a million years, would you have guessed that Butch and Nikki were gonna be able to put us on that many browns? Not in a million years. I mean, this was just an incredible trip out there on Lake Michigan on Whitehall, and Butch just put us right on those browns. It, you know, Skipper, a lot of skippers, they'll be out there and they'll say, well, we might catch a brown while we're out catching something else. What do you think the big key was that led us to catch so many browns in one day? The weather letting us stay in that eight foot of water around the structure real helpful today, around the pier head, in the trough. Yeah, and you know, I gotta say, Nikki was the excellent first mate, <laughs> net, net and fish extraordinaire, I'm gonna say, you know, and she picked a couple of those hot colors, you know. Yeah, feeding the fish fairy, I mean, that was an incredible yeah. thing, I mean, we, it worked, did it, it not work? Worked. It worked, it definitely man. worked, yeah. yeah. Gotta pay your dues, I'm gonna tell you what, you cannot do wrong, you need to get over to 
Captain Butch's website. Check them out at the number at the bottom of the screen. Check out the website at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to tell you what, the time of our lives out here, no boats. We had it all to ourselves and a dozen browns in the box to prove it. So for One Big Fish, I'm Don Sweet. We'll see you next time out on the water chasing that One Big Fish. One big fish, one big fish, one big fish. All I want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a large mouth, small mouth, maybe even a brown trout. If you ever catch one, you know what I'm talking about. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a wall eye, tall guy, maybe even a red eye. If you ever catch one, then you'll know why. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. One big fish. One big fish, one big fish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish all I want to do is catch